Hello everyone, thank you, thank you so much for tuning back to my channel. Uh, for the new subscribers, uh, please view my videos, like, share, and subscribe. So, guys, I'm back again today with this recipe due to public demand. So, I've got uh, I've been receiving messages of uh, people asking me to explain to them further how this recipe that is Uji Power. Uji Power is a Uji is a Swahili name meaning porridge. So how they can use uh, how they can start that business of Uji Power? They've been asking me how much it can the capital can cost, some about the benefits. So guys, today I'm back with that this video. I just want to ex answer your questions. Please watch this video until the end and share with others. Otherwise. Thank you and let's move. The five questions that people have been asking me are as follows. One, uh, the amount of capital that one needs to start this business. Two, the benefits of this Uji power. Three, uh, how it is being done. That is the clear way of preparing this Uji power. Four, like how many cups can one produce by doing the first step, I mean the first, uh, the first procedure, and lastly, where one can get the ingredients. So guys, all those questions are going to be answered today. Just keep tuned and let's go. So, so to start first, I'll just start by, you start by peeling off the arrow roots. So just as I told you guys, we are using the, this, peeling like this another thing milk there are people who don't use milk but uh, milk makes this uji power has a different flavor especially if now okay today we are doing it in terms of business especially if you're in business if you want your uji power to stand out from others make sure you use this and it is a secret for those people who are doing it because they find uh, it is extra it is as a, it as an extra cost of buying milk but if you use milk i'm telling you guys it will be so so nice guys and then that's the something which is optional also is sugar not everyone takes sugar so the uh, sugar milk and uh, sweet potatoes are not really a must but for you to have the best 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 uji power involved in this So these are the sweet potatoes. So next. Up. So these are the cassava. So after peeling them, I've just peeled. I've just peeled all of them. The arrow roots are here. So I cut them into small pieces. So what I'm going to do is just to boil them to make them soft. So guys, these are cassava. So I, I was asked a question on uh, the importance of this cassava of or the importance of these things so now these are arrow roots arrow roots gives energy now i have cassava cassava is very high in vitamin especially vitamin c so it answers it, it enhances uh, 
production of iron um, or energy as well. So we also have the sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are high in fiber. So they promote healthy brain, that is they boost brain. And then they also support good vision. Those who have got problems with vision. So they promote good vision. So those who are asking about the benefits of this. So these are this. So when I come to this, explain to you about the other ingredients. I've just explained the three ingredients about the arrow roots, cassava, and um, sweet potatoes. So guys, from here now, I'm going to wash them and then boil them. Those potatoes cook very fast. So guys, just keep tuned and see what we are going to do. So I've just finished washing them. And in fact, don't add any salt to it at all. In this recipe, we don't deal with salt. We can only deal with sugar to a certain level. So this is that. Now we are just going to boil. I'll just add water and boil it. So keep tuned, guys. So guys, I'll place, make sure when you're putting water, you place water at the level of the of everything then make sure you cover it so that it can cook fast meanwhile when our cassava potatoes are boiling I have groundnuts here that I'm just going to fry so I'm just going to fry this groundnut and make sure the heat is low mid heat not not really high but mid heat so that they don't get burnt because once they get burnt your power, will, or the power will be very, very dark or brown. It will have a, a funny color. So make sure you you fry it in a, a low or a medium heat. Now, guys, the ben I did not tell you the benefit of this. So the benefit of um, of peanut in porridge, it it produces some vitamins and these vitamins and also and minerals. So when you have this, make sure, ensure you will be having some proteins, it's part of proteins, some vitamins and also some minerals. It also reduces the risk of heart diseases. Those who have, who might be exposed to heart diseases, so this groundnut is really good at that. So when you are frying it, make sure you keep turning so that they don't get burnt. Just as a reminder, no salt at all. You see, don't let them be dark. And by the way, the best peanuts, we know we have also different types of ground nuts, peanuts. The best ones are those red ones. So these are mixed. You can see some red and what, but the best ones now are the red ones. So guys, this is just done. I'm just going to take it out. Pumpkin seeds, which is also an essential and also part of this Uji power. So guys, you see the way when you buy it, then you need also to fry it again. Why do we fry it? We do this so that you can, when you're grinding it, you can grind very easily. It also needs some mid heat. Not so much, so hot fire, but some mid heat. What are its benefits? The benefits of this pumpkin seed. One, it boosts immunity. If you have low immunity or you are immune to various diseases, this is the best. In fact, this is what makes this uji power to be called healthy let me just reduce it i can see <laughs> so this is what what makes this power uji power to be called healthy because it boosts immunity it's also advisable for those who have who are hiv positive this is the best recipe for you those who are hiv positive this is the best recipe for you Another thing, men, 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 you are love for Uji Power. You love Uji Power. It has a very, very important 
benefit to you because it boosts your libido. So if you want to maintain your marriage, go for this natural healthy porridge. So guys, I hope I've told you the ingredients of all this. So guys, if you see this, make sure you fry it until it reaches this point. You can see now they are fried. So we'll just let it cool. I'll just switch off my my heat and I'll let it cool. The benefit of milk, as you know, milk so good, rich in vitamin C. The vitamins. It's also the taste. Also, it tastes also in this porridge. Also, give it a nice taste. So for commercial users and especially this recipe today. It's all about commercial. It's all about uh, making profit. So milk is optional. So when you're doing it at home, the, the way I'm doing it, I prefer using milk because it's nice. So if you're starting a business, if you want to catch many car clients or many customers, please use milk. Your porridge will taste, will have that super, super, super natural taste. So take note on that. Sugar. Don't use sugar because I normally put sugar while I'm making it, preparing. And remember, there are people who are diabetes, diabetes who do not take sugar. So that one can also scare away your customer. So maybe some people take so so little, some take so so much. So if it's commercial, please don't add sugar. Just if you have, have to put sugar, put just a little bit of sugar. So not the way I'm going to do it here because this I'm just doing it at home. So the last question that I'm asking, uh, I'm answering. When a person asks me how many or how much quantity can you produce from those ingredients that you just saw me use, and from this jug, this jug can provide eight. Let me just introduce you to this calabash first. So you know this is the calabash for G power. I like the traditional one where we used to have the calabash, traditional calabash which used to be made from some certain plant. So I don't know from which country you are watching from. Just comment down there and tell me if in your country what, which item do you use for taking for it. So this is the the best calabash. If you really want to do business, it goes for 500 shillings, but wholesale you can get it for 400 shillings. They are in different colors. So when you're doing business, you should have different colors just to attract. We have very, very nice colors. The color also matters. So this calabash, can, you can produce eight. From this jug here, the blender jug, you can produce eight of this. And remember, they're selling it at 50 shillings. So eight, this is, which means a jug like this will give you, for, you will earn you 400 shillings. And by the way, the ingredients I bought are not even 400. They are less than 400 shillings. And um, they're going to produce two jugs of this. So meaning it's 50% of your profits. So if you're using a mug, there are people also who are served with mug. You will get 10 of mugs of, from this. And they also sell it at the same, same price of 50 shillings. So meaning you'll get... If you're using a mug, you will get 500 shillings from this jug. So you can see, guys, see the way it is um, a good business with the very with the 50% profit. I can see some cassava. You can see they are soft. They are ready. So what I'm going to do is just to remove them. I'm going to remove all the ones which are ready. So guys, when they are done, you cut them in small pieces that can be absorbed by the blender. So slice them. So these are the arrow roots. So it's also advisable to do them when they are hot so that your porridge will cook faster. Remember, we are not cooking, we are just blending. And when you are blending, you want porridge which is hot. So this is how we are going to 
she dyes them like this healthy porridge guys so these are for the arrow root i'll do the same to cassava and do the same to sweet potatoes so keep tuned i'll do the same to potatoes when they are still hot So it's advisable to do everything when it's hot. And I'm boiling water, some hot water now, guys. I'm going to add some little water to this porridge. So if you are doing it for your house, then you want some, you don't need to put a lot of water. But you see commercial, you are chasing profit. So you can add water but not so much to, to to spoil the taste so sweet potato make gives a good taste to this body but for those who are who has heartburn who fear heartburn Please don't use sweet potatoes. Hmm. I'll do the same to potatoes when they are still hot. So it's advisable to do everything when it's hot. And I'm boiling water, some hot water now, guys. I'm going to add some little water to this porridge. So if you are doing it for your house, then you want some... You don't need to put a lot of water. But you see commercial, you are chasing profit. So you can add water, but not so much to, to, to spoil the taste. So sweet potato make gives a good taste to this porridge. But for those who are who has heartburn, who fear heartburn, please don't use sweet potatoes. Hmm. Thing is now here. We have the cassava here. We have the arrow ribs here. We have um, sweet sweet potatoes here. We have ground nuts. We have the pumpkin seeds. We have milk. We have uh, sugar and I also have some water here, some hot water here. Now we are going to start the cooking. So we'll start just by adding a bit of cassava, harrow roots to the blender. Potatoes. Pumpkin seeds, ground nuts, a glass of milk. a glass of water. Hot water soup, guys. If you put one glass of milk, put two glasses of water. Thing is now here. We have the cassava here. We have the arrow ribs here. We have um, sweet, sweet potatoes here. We have ground nuts. We have the pumpkin seeds. We have milk. We have uh, sugar. And I also have some water here, some hot water here. Now we are going to start the cooking. So we'll start just by adding a bit of cassava, 
arrow roots to the blender. Potatoes. Pumpkin seeds. Ground nuts. A glass of milk. A glass of water. Hot water, so guys. If you put one glass of milk, put two glasses of water. You can see the uji, but not yet. You still have to blend it. So you, you when you you are blending, you make sure you check on the its consistency to see whether it's thick or or dilute it whether to add water or not so we'll be adding other things as it cooks so keep tuned we are now going to blend it open not we are not going to close it because we'll be adding things gradually so already full so meaning I did not balance it well because even if I was to add water it will reach somewhere here but let me just continue so let's keep doing that You can see 
can just see my Uji power. So guys, it can produce these eight of these, which is 50 bow. So just see that. In fact, another one again. Mm -hmm. So maybe just place it this way. You can just see my OG power. So guys, it can produce this eight of this, which is fifty bow. So just see that. In fact, another one again. Mm -hmm. so maybe just place it this way. So guys, this is second round. I'm going to make another 10 cups so you can imagine I bought the ingredients at only 400 less than 400 shillings and what I'm going to get is 1000 so if, I, if you sell 20 cups of this you're going to get a profit of 50% that's 1000 so guys this is a good business 